It's time to build a new exposure unit. I've been teasing this for a while now, but I kind of kept putting it off for many reasons. Uh, but I think I'm finally ready to tackle this exposure unit. You guys probably already know all about my old DIY unit that I built over a year ago. Uh, it's been working fine for me, but it has a couple of shortcomings. For one, it's too small. It can expose up to 20 by 24 screens, which is good, but I'm gonna start getting into bigger screens for poster printing pretty soon. So having a bigger unit would be great. And number two, it's not very good at exposing finer details like halftones. And I think that's because all I have is like this 50 watt LED light inside of it. And the light isn't really distributed evenly, so it's really hard to get a proper exposure uh, on the whole screen. So my new unit needs to be bigger and brighter. I want something that's high performance, almost professional quality, but still completely DIY, something that anybody could build. Believe me, I have very limited experience actually building stuff like with woodworking. I don't know anything about electrical wiring or really a lot of the stuff that I'm about to tackle in this exposure unit build. But believe me, if I can do it, I think any newcomer can do it. And after I go through how to build this thing, I wanna talk about the cost. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering if you're actually gonna save money building a unit like this, or are you better off just buying one? So stick around to the end if you wanna hear my thoughts on that. The first thing I did was draw up some plans. Anytime you build something from scratch, it's good to have an idea of what you're doing before you actually start. So I drew up some plans, wrote down some measurements, and took note of any supplies that I would need. I based these plans on a few different exposure units that I had seen, mostly DIY units, but you know, some professional ones that are on the market. And now that I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to build, I could actually start building the thing. So this is the final product. Just a few quick notes about it. 
The overall dimensions are 40 by 28 by 9, but the actual exposable area is closer to 36 by 24. The light output is about 150 watts, and that's spread across eight LED light strips. I included a safe light on both sides of the exposure unit. The distance between the light and the glass is about seven inches. And just like my old unit, I'm using Starfire glass, which is a, like a low iron type of glass. It's, it's very clear. A lot of glass has some iron content in it, and you want to get glass that doesn't really have any of that. You want something that's super clear, so there's really nothing blocking the light. You may have noticed that I painted the inside of the unit white, and the theory there is by painting it white, the light will bounce off of that white, thus making it brighter. It's just a theory. I'm not really sure it totally works as intended. Maybe it would have been better to use something reflective like aluminum tape. I don't know, just something to think about if you're trying to make a unit like this. I wanted a compression lid for this unit uh, as opposed to having nothing like my last unit. Before I would have to weigh down the screen with a couple of five pound weights. I don't really have to do that anymore. All I need to do is insert a foam pad and close the lid and then lock it with the latches. For the LED strips, I really wanted to include a timer, but I didn't think I could really figure out the wiring for that. I did a little bit of research on it and I just said, screw it. But I at least wanted a simple on off switch, which is a lot easier to wire. And so now that we've built this thing, there's really only one thing left we need to do and that's test it. In my mind, the ultimate test is how well it handles halftones. Since my last unit couldn't really do halftones that well, I really want to see what this thing is capable of. I have an image that I have prepared here, converted to halftones in Photoshop. I've got a 230 mesh already coded. It's showtime. It came out pretty good, I think. The exposure time for this ended up being about 40 seconds, and I was using Ryonet's base layer plastisol emulsion, which is a lot better than the three minutes that it used to take on my old unit. And there's no way I would have been able to get this much detail on my old unit, and especially not this consistent through the whole thing. All right, so the question you guys are probably all wondering, how much did this cost me? Let me break it down for you. The plywood was free. I already had scrap wood from the workbenches that I took apart before. Uh, so all the plywood that I used, completely free. I didn't pay anything for the plywood. I had some one by two pieces of wood that I used, like for the inside of the lid and uh, also the lip for the glass to sit on. The one by twos ended up costing me $25. I had a bunch of spray paint. That was about $25. The LEDs came in a pack of four for $40. So eight of those ended up being $80. All the electrical stuff that includes uh, the switches, any uh, cables, connectors. Uh, I think I, I bought a wire cutter slash crimper. All of that stuff altogether cost me about $50. All the hardware, including all the corner brackets, you know, the screws, uh, the hinges, uh, a handle for the lid, all of that stuff together cost me about $115. The foam pad uh, cost me $20. And then there's the glass, which I thought was gonna cost me a lot more than it did. I, I was expecting to pay two to $300 for it but I, I ended up paying $160 for it. And then there's a miscellaneous cost. Um, I had to buy some things more than once because I messed it up. All the little things to cover my mistakes probably ended up costing me about $100. So altogether, the total cost is about $575. And honestly, that's not that bad, but it is worth noting that it cost me time. From start to finish, this thing took me about two months to build. I mean, from pre-planning to cutting the wood, to painting, to, uh, you know, assembling everything. 
to uh, waiting on the glass. That took forever. So I might not have saved a lot of time building it myself, but I did save money. You have to ask yourself, is it really worth it to you to build an exposure unit? I mean, for someone like me, I, I like to make stuff. I like to see what I can build. I like a challenge. So for me, yeah, it makes sense to build an exposure unit. But if you don't wanna spend the time building an exposure unit, or if you don't think you can build an exposure unit, then maybe just buying one is in your best interest. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Whatever you gotta do to get printing, as long as the cost of screen printing equipment doesn't stop you from screen printing. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.